Hello everyone. Currently there is roofing going on on my building and I wanted to start a vlog and today um, the girl that was going to do my hair in January actually had a cancellation today at 4.15 and so she asked me if I wanted to get it done today and I said yes. So I'm going to get my hair done later. Um, this is ridiculous. Smokey is terrified, so uh, I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. I'm definitely gonna add more blonde to the bottom. I'm not sure about the top. I kind of just like how the top is now, but I'll let you guys know what it looks like. And it is Wednesday. No, it's not. It's Tuesday, but I'm not gonna talk much longer because of everything going on so I'll see you guys later okay I'm headed to get my hair done I wanted to show a little before I didn't like straighten it or anything it has a crease in it from my ponytail this is what it looks like before okay hello everyone welcome back it is now Friday morning I'm about to leave to go home I put a pause on this vlog for the past few days because of the roofers they were being very loud obviously they can't help that um, and then it was super gross and like dark outside the past few days. So I didn't have lighting at all because I always just use the natural light from these windows. So I put a pause on that, but I'm back and here's my hair and I really, really love it. It's super bright. We did curtain bangs and then smudge roux, like balayage, all that good stuff. I don't know the exact stuff that she did, so but my arm always gets tired whenever i hold my phone up like that so yeah this is the hair so good she's super nice and it was not near as expensive as i thought it was going to be like because i have so much hair but um i'll definitely go back to her and maybe add a little bit more blonde in the summer and then that might be like as far as i go because right now it's probably one of the lightest styles that I've had but anyways I needed some new shoes so I went to Hibbets the other day and I found two pairs that are super cute that I wanted to show you guys so these are the first pair and these are the ones that were $25 but I just thought that was a really good deal and I don't have a pair of white sneakers and I really like how it has the little bit of orange like orange is red on them and so I wanted to get these I think what I don't like are those little holes but I mean it's not that big of a deal so yeah these are really cute and then I got the all white adidas nmds I've really wanted these for a few months ever since I saw them just because they're all white and I wore these to the gym the other day and I really like them and they're just for like weight training not running or long distance walking or anything like that but I really liked them and I've already got compliments on them so I do not regret this purchase and these were the original 140 that they always are, but then I had the $20 off a $100 order, so they were like 120. And I didn't realize how much you had to size down in these shoes. I normally wear like an eight or eight and a half, and I got a seven and a half, and even that's like kind of loose right here. So I don't know if they're supposed to be like that, but this is the only pair of NMDs I've ever had, so I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for the laundry to get done. I'm about to go switch them into the dryer now. And then after they're dry, I'll just head on out because I really don't wanna wait any longer because traffic in Columbia can be terrible. I'm sure anyone that has driven through Columbia knows that. So trying to get out of here and then I have to work a few hours later today whenever I get home, but only like an hour and a half or two hours. But yeah, I wanted to update you guys. Um, I'm actually going to add a little clip of my top fives from 2020. So I'm just going to do songs, TV shows, things that I did, and purchases. I think that's it. But I'm going to add that to the end whenever I'm driving home. Because I just thought that would be something kind of fun to do. Give this vlog a little more substance. I've literally been packing like a mad woman because I'll be home for probably two weeks haven't decided yet and I don't want to forget anything so that way I don't have to 
go out and buy stuff at Walmart constantly because after this month I am saving money I have come to the realization that I haven't been able to save anything and it's really important that I start because like anything can happen at any time obviously so I want to make sure that I'm prepared like with some savings and also the wedding planning is about to start again so I need to have money put aside for like the venue down payment or whatever deposit and maybe look at some wedding dresses I don't know and we're gonna try to be in a house by June so I think I've mentioned that before so we need to buy a house all that requires extra money so but I'm gonna go get the clothes and next time I see you guys it will be in the car okay guys so good morning it is Monday um I filmed the top fives in the car and then watching it back you couldn't even understand what I was saying because the, my tires were so loud on the interstate because I was like going faster so I'm gonna redo that um right now I'm at Academy in the parking lot waiting for Billy to come back because he really wanted to get some ammo to uh, to just like shoot targets and stuff and you haven't been able to find it anywhere and uh, he called Academy and they got in a really big shipment this morning and they opened at 7 so we got here at like 7.15 to get that for him um, and I just came for coffee because I think we're going to get Starbucks and I want to try a new order that I saw on YouTube on Rachel Ratke's um, channel it's like the white chocolate cold brew with <laughs> Billy has a CB radio, but anyways, uh, yeah, cold brew with white chocolate sauce and vanilla sweet cream cold foam, and that sounds really good, and I usually don't drink, like, super sweet coffee, but I don't even care, I just really want to try it, because it sounds delicious, um, so yeah, I came with Billy, and we've just been hanging out around the house, I went out to eat with a friend last night, and then... I uh, went and got groceries at Aldi because I figured it would be a lot cheaper to just go there. So yeah, we've just kind of been hanging out, not doing much of anything. It's been really gross and gray here. Like rainy, but not raining, just super gray in the sky. I haven't seen the sun, I don't think, since we've got here. Yeah, I just wanted to catch you guys up and I will film the top fives. I want to actually sit down and do it where you can hear me. So that's why that's not in here yet. All right. This is good. Yeah. You got a vanilla bean frappuccino. You know that doesn't have coffee in it, right? I thought it did. I thought Robert had coffee in them. Not the vanilla bean. Oh, really? That's why Grace always gets it, because she doesn't like coffee. Hmm. But hmm. this is really good. I just got one pump of the white chocolate instead of two, and Which it's way, no, perfect. Go, left, go left. left. Yeah. But I really like this. Yeah, mine's wonderful. I love it. Vanilla bean. And now that it's good lighting, I want to show you guys the tree during the day. And then I'll show it at night all lit up. But it's humongous. Can't remember how tall it is, but I always love these trees. And then Billy's sister wrapped all these, like, aesthetic gifts. But, yeah. Such a cute tree. And my friend Allie also made... Billy and I, the cutest ornament. I put like this grass in there just to kind of make it look cool. I need to spread it out a little bit better, but just a Sarah and Billy 2020 with a little ring on it. We have to get a um hook to hang on the tree.
Okay, we're gonna do the top fives. Okay, I wrote them down so I won't forget what I'm talking about. So first, we're gonna talk about top five artists. I was gonna do songs, but that got really hard because I looked at all the like most played songs on Apple Music and they were both by only two people. So I thought that'd be boring. Top five artists were Justin Bieber. This is in no particular order. Taylor Swift, Morgan Wallen, Casey Musgraves, and Tim McGraw. And I think those are like the top five people that I listened to this whole year. A lot of people didn't have new songs come out because of COVID, but that's what I listened to. Then TV shows. I'm gonna try to go in order of when I watched these. Billy's making a sandwich. But in January, me and Billy watched You, the second season, because that show is really good, on Netflix. And then Outer Banks came out during COVID, and we watched that whole season in probably a week. Then over the summer, we always watch Big Brother. That is one of our favorite shows. And then The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. I like to watch those just for like the entertainment, even though it's probably not real. And then we watch a show Whoa. called Seal Team. That one's not my favorite, that's why it's at the bottom. But then top five, yes. Then top five purchases were, I'm gonna go in order of how expensive they were, but first one would be the kayaks, which Billy actually bought my kayak, but that was like the most expensive and the most fun purchase that we had this year. Then our couch, cause we had to use a futon. What? That was the most expensive. Kayaks were the most expensive. Both of them together were over a oh, thousand. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. So then we needed a big couch for our new apartment because we were using a futon that was very uncomfortable and we wanted to be able to have people come visit and there was nowhere for anyone to sit. So we got a big L-shaped couch. Then we bought, I don't know which one was more expensive. How much was that griddle? Um, 20 of them? I might be 80. Yeah, so next would be the vacuum, the robot vacuum. That thing, I use it all the time. And we like to just kind of sit there and watch it because it's kind of funny how it just runs into stuff and doesn't really have a rhyme or reason for where it's going and why. But then the griddle, grill slash situation, we keep that out on our balcony and it's so nice because we can cook like fajita vegetables. Billy can cook steak on it. We cook our burgers on it. You can cook breakfast, like it doesn't matter. And it's super easy to clean. Then last is the Keurig, which is probably the one I use the most because it makes lattes and just normal coffee and it has a milk frother with it. I hope they can't hear you crunching over there. Mm? I hope they won't be able to hear you crunching. Mm. And then the top five experiences I had in 2020, despite all of the bad things that went on in 2020, uh, before the coronavirus was a thing. We went on a cruise to Mexico to kind of kick off graduating college. And that would be one of the experiences, but that was in December. So that doesn't count. <laughs> then we moved to Charleston and Beaufort. Like I'm gonna mix those two together, just moving to two different places. Those were really good experiences because, I mean, I love living in Charleston, but I really like seeing Beaufort too. Then the, this is all in order of like when it happened, not priority, because this would be at the top. But we got engaged in May. And so obviously I had to put that on there. We got engaged in Charleston. I think it's one of the like waterfront parks there on like a little pier and the bridge was in the background. It was really romantic. 
props to Billy on that idea. Then the next one is also, it would probably be number two on this list, but finding out that Billy's older sister is having a baby and this is like the first niece and nephew that we'll have. And so we were super excited to find that out and she's due in April. Then the last like really good experience that I had was getting to visit Colorado with my best friend who had never been before. And so I really enjoyed getting to go do that and show her around Fort Collins. And she got to hang out with like Billy's sister and her husband for the first time. And so we all just kind of had a good time. But that's all the top fives that I have for 2020. Kind of wanted to end the year positive because I feel like you kind of have to in these situations. Because, I mean, things are going to happen either way. You just got to kind of try to look at the bright side and be grateful. That's a really good thing to do if you want to, like, feel better. If you're feeling down about something that's, like, super small, you just got to look at all the things you're grateful for, even the little things. Like, in the morning, it's really nice to kind of just say three things that you're grateful for that morning. Like, no matter how big or how small, like, it always makes me feel better. But, that is that.